I bet you have heard about me because of the Disney movie that was made about my life. That was a fun movie, but I'm here to tell you the real story of my life. I can't tell you everything because I did so much, but I will tell you some things. I was born around 1595. No one knows for sure my birthday. My father was Chief Bohatton. Some people think he had about 100 children, but I was his favorite daughter. I was his favorite because I was so smart, he likes to listen to my ideas. When I was about 12 years old, English settlers came to America. They built a town on the land that my father ruled. They called it Jamestown. Their leader was John Smith. When winter came, the English settlers were getting sick and didn't have enough food. I felt sorry for them. I got some friends together and we would bring provisions to John Smith. We helped them often and it helps the English settlers stay alive. We would also trade goods back and forth. My people were happy to share our land and help the English settlers. But the English settlers wanted to own the land and the town they lived in. We think differently about the land. It would be like me wanting to share my toys and you saying, I like these toys and I am taking them home. Because of this, we began to fight with the English settlers. I didn't like the fighting and talked with my father and John Smith and often helped people get along. Many stories have been written about me saving John Smith's life, but people aren't sure if that really happened. And I'm keeping that a secret. During one of these fights, John Smith was injured and went home to England. When he left, we really started to fight. The English knew that I was my father's favorite daughter. They kidnapped me in hopes that my father would stop fighting with them. I did not like being kidnapped. The English settlers took me to England. They taught me their language and dressed me in their clothes. They gave me a new name, Rebecca. My heart began to feel hopeful that I could teach the English about my people and that we could get along. I wanted them to see we were not savages. I even got to talk to the King of, and Queen of England. It took a lot of grit for me to keep working for peace when I was so far from home and my people. One day I met John Rolfe. We got married and had a son and named him Thomas. Many people claim to be my grandchildren. One of them is your former first lady, Nancy Reagan. When I was about 21 years old, I got a disease called smallpox and died from it. There is a grave in England that honors me. What I wanted most for the English and my people were to live in peace. I hope that the story